Hey guys, GhostWare38 here, wanted to bring you another Phantom review. Alongside the Moonstone books, I'm going to be reviewing my collection of Fru Phantom books. Today, I'm gonna, this will be my first one. I'm going to be reviewing you this story, Samaris. This is issue 1070, and this story has been reprinted a few times. The first time was in issue 904, and this one was the second time around it was printed and there was a time it appeared in an annual it was issue 12 something i'll have to look at the number specifically and jot that down then the latest one was issue 1474 in 2014 this is the second cover this is the second time it's been printed but that being said let's get started here shall we moving that back a little bit i like the cover design with this one anyway Samaris is a 300 year old queen that wanted to stay beautiful and young forever and this story takes place with the 21st phantom she asked her father what is it you want most to be beautiful father forever so she gets the help of some witches and she uh, the age aging is getting to her so she asks for a, to find witches to help reverse the aging process. Two of them are shams. Things don't really work out well for her, and she has them put to death. The third one actually helps her. And then Samaris is then made beautiful and young again, as you wanted, my queen. But there is one condition. You can never fall in love with a man, for that would make you ordinary again, and it would end the spell. Of course, Samaris is egotistical and overconfident. She says, no man is worthy of me. That's easy. And said, guards take her away. Said, but you promised me your end of the bargain. I don't need you anymore. It's like, I'll tell them what you've become. You're a monster again. And so she is killed. Samaris um, doesn't fall in love, but she takes a king as a consort, as a lover, in name only. So that they can keep the illusion that she's with someone, at least. Samaris returns. She's proclaimed to have a daughter. In reality, there actually isn't a daughter because she can't have children. I left my daughter abroad. No man is worthy of that, you fool. And then her husband dies. And she goes to Europe to reclaim her daughter. I use that in air quotes because she never actually... Because she can't have children. And um, Samaris the first dies in a shipwreck, but she doesn't actually die. She basically pretends to be her own daughter. Queen Samaris the second, she looks just like her mother. She watches her own funeral. There's an empty coffin in there instead of me. It's and that basically the cycle repeats itself for the centuries and up until the very 21st century. 300 years have passed, and I've remained as young and beautiful as I have ever been. Meanwhile, Garan is telling the continuing to tell the story. She's with her hunting expedition in the Bengala jungle. This is a very dull hunt. Where's the game? Your best is not good enough. Find game. I want trophies. We're doing that, your highness. How odd. Maybe we'll find game there. I'm bored again. Time to make believe. Time for another make-believe husband. My twelfth. I've had barons, dukes, and princes. What will it be this time? Naturally, they step into Eden, which is a game preserve the Phantom has set up. And so, basically, they're trespassing. He's like, stop. There is no hunting allowed here. I'm a queen. I'm a queen, Samaris. So I take orders from no one, especially from a masked highwayman. Tell the men to put down your guns. And so, the Phantom, they do not. And so, he summons the Bandar tribe. The drums of war sound. And so he's like, put them away. But who are these people? The band are, are everywhere. You have to move fast before you act foolishly. One false step and you had better go. I am the queen. I will return with my army. If you're stupid enough to do that, you will lose your entire army. It's like, how dare you address me the way you have? I am a queen. Treat me as such. And she's like, why did you threaten to shoot them? They were doing their duty to protect my animal preserve. They were in my way. If you were a man, I'd know exactly what to deal with you. Order your men to move out. I refuse. Get the safari moving. Of course, they listen to him because they know that he is the Phantom. Samaris is familiar with the Phantom because of stories she was told as a little girl back before the aging process had 
back before she halted the aging process. They say he rules the jungle, your highness. Never mind, he humiliated me. Arrest him. Her highness smears wishes to speak with you. I can't row or refuse a lady. Come on, devil. Here he comes. You impudent scoundrel. The phantom basically dispatches all his all the men, and that's basically the scene that you see in the back cover is him dis dispatching all of them. Why now, Samaris? You want to speak to me? All six, and that's that scene there, and it's indicated by my finger. That's this one here. Barehanded, he overcame six powerful men. You, I know you are the law in your land, but this is not your land. This is mine. And no queen can order any arrests here. You have no authority here, Samaris. Go home. The masked man rules the jungle, you say. They basically, and then they go back home. And they try to find out about as much as they can about the phantom, because she's interested in him. I want you to find out about him. Everything. And then Garan is still telling the story because this is all in retrospect. How many so-called husbands have I buried in 300 years? 11 or 12? It's time to go through this again. Another marriage, another long honeymoon, a baby girl, and I will become the 13th. But a, ma but a jungle ruler? No. Is the phantom married? How old is he? What things he likes. The phantom is the rule of the jungle. He's not married. He has a sweetheart far away. The lady Diana. Oh yeah, this is before him and Diana were married. Wisest men of ten tigers. The man who cannot die. The captain's like, what? How old is he? He's 400. He is the, he is the ghost who cannot die. Come now, I can't believe that he's a young man. Ask my grandfather. It's like, true that. I am over 100 now. When I was a little boy, I saw him. I was with my grandfather, who was then over 100. My grandparents remembered seeing the Phantom as a little boy, and his grandfather who remembered seeing him, because, of course, the Phantom's role is passed down from father to son. I get the idea. Thank you. Unmarried. That's all she wants to hear. Where is the captain gone? Maybe the Phantom is married. Why do they call him that? Highness, he has returned. What's the problem? He says the strength of ten tigers, and he's over 400 years old. He's called the ghost who walks and the man who cannot die. He's like, 400 years, how is this possible? Because she thinks that he was affected by the witch's spell as well. Can he be under the witch's curse as well? Leave me, Captain. We know the Phantom is the 21st in the Phantom's line, but Samaris is under the witch's spell is actually 300 years old. He's 400, I'm only 300. I've met a man older than I am. I have to say, she has an interesting taste in various outfits. Find this Phantom. Send my, guard, send my regards and apologies for my behavior. And ask him to come meet me. What if he refuses? If he refuses my invitation to come here, Captain, you're a man. Can you imagine any man refusing me? She does a, like a really a sexy pose here. It's like, no, ma'am. It's like, no, sir. I mean, your high, no highness. It's just like, get out of here. <laughs> she is not having it. It's like, you had a message for me? It's like, your highness Samara sends her apologies for a dispute with you and invites you to her palace as her guest. He's like, okay, apology accepted, but I can't go anywhere. And she's mad that he refused. He's like, why does she want me to visit this palace? It's obviously a trap. Besides, I made her leave. Well, I don't know. He wouldn't come or couldn't come. He's like, No. And then she goes into a little bit more backstory about her curse and what happened to her. It's like, how dare he? It's like, send the captain to me in a hurry. It's like, yes, ma'am. It's like, Phantom, it's I'm about time. I've been waiting for a week. And she'll do it unless you come with her. That foolish woman, the pygmies would slaughter her army. Okay, so basically she's threatened to invade the Bengala jungle again unless the Phantom comes to meet her. I will go. What does she negotiate? It's like, I don't know yet, sir. Here he comes. The arrogant fools refuse my first invitation. We'll see how I deal with him. But she's really interested in him. He's even more handsome than I remember. We meet again, Phantom. They bow before the queen. He's like, you'll pardon me if I don't do that, Samaris. To discuss the threat of jungle war. Such a man and such power, she thinks. My statesman will discuss that matter with you later. He's like, do you usually bring your dog to meet royalty? He's a wolf, but I thought you wanted to talk about another matter. I'm a queen. A queen cannot wait. She must decide. She must ask. Ask what? I want to ask you to be my husband. He's like, 
Did I hear you correctly? You want me to marry you? Yes. Naturally, you are speechless, overwhelmed by this honor, as many men would be, and as eleven before you should have been. You have all the riches and honors in the position, but you must understand one thing. You're my husband in name only. She basically understands him about what's going on. He's like, what kind of husband is that? We will not truly be man and wife, only legally in the eyes of the world. Why would a young woman like you want a husband like that? I have reasons for it must be that way. Naturally, you'll give up the mask and that outfit, I am honored by your proposal, madam, but I have to refuse, because he doesn't want a marriage like that, which obviously any sensible man would understand that. He's like, I understand you, Samaris. You refuse to be my husband? Yes, your pretend husband, or any other kind. You, do you find me beautiful? Of course, but a pretend husband? What kind of marriage is that? Even if it were real, I couldn't agree. I love someone else. So you refuse me over to an ordinary girl. My proposal surprised you. Perhaps you need time to remain here. No time. There's a goodbye. And so basically he gets captured by a bunch of guards. And he gets thrown in jail. Each time and time again he comes back to ask her. He's like, will you marry me? No, Samaris, I can't. Because I cannot love, and then she finally reveals her secret. I can't love someone, or truly love somebody. You say you can't ever love, but what is your secret? Should I tell you? Can I tell you? What would happen if I told you that I've been, haven't really never told anyone in 300 years? 300 years? But you are different, Phantom. You are 400 years old. You are also under a spell? The witch's spell, 300 years ago. The witch cast her that I remain young and beautiful, but to live forever, I cannot love. One after another... Each queen died. We buried empty coffins. Do you understand? The phantom, of course, thinks she's insane. Do you really believe you're 300? Is that so hard for you to believe? For you that lived 400? And, of course, he thinks that the phantom's legacy, that he's from father to son. The first time I've told, in, in, in 300 years, I've told my secret, now will you marry me? It's like, no, I can't. And she's like, she keeps refusing me again and again. I'm 300 years old, and I'm still young and beautiful. And still in love. I love you, you hear? I love you. I said it. I am a real woman. I love him, old witch. Do you hear now? For dead for 300 years. So she basically spites the witch to want to prove that she's still young and beautiful. And she's like, what? And he's like, what was that? And the witch's ghost comes back to haunt her. As Samaris runs, her face wrinkles and her hair grays. And she's like, what's happening to me? She stared into a mirror after 300 years. The witch's warning. The, cur the curse is honored in hideous fashion. The penalty after 300 years of stating her love for the phantom. Did she really turn into an old lady all at once? Yes, but that's not all. She turned to 300 years in an instant and immediately turned to dust. It's an awful thing to witness someone age 300 years all at once from flesh to bone to dust. The Phantom has seen many strange things in his unusual life. Her story of a witch, it was true. They'd say he'd never been shaken by anything, and no wonder. So that is the end of the tale of the Samaris and the Phantom. Now off to bed with you. He's like, is it true? I always tell you guys the truth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of the Queen Samaris. Um... So, obviously, she ended up dying after proclaiming her love for the Phantom. But anyway, that's the end of that. I hope you guys like this little review. And to stay up to date for all the other Fru Phantom and Phantom-related content, be sure to click that bell notification, turn your settings on to all, and be sure to subscribe and stay up to date for all the content like this. If you like this video, please give it a like. And tell me your favorite Fru story if you've read one. Or if you've read this one, let me know what you think. So until then, guys, take care. I'll see you all next time. And farewell.